Welcome to this Your Mac Helpers video on how to use the Settings app on your iPad. So let's just jump right in and take a look. The Settings app is going to allow you to just customize the iPad and make it just a little bit more uh, you. How do you want your sounds to look? How bright do you want it? What apps do you want to have notifying you? Uh, when incoming messages come in, uh, a lot of different things. So I'm just going to go right down the list pretty quick and just give you an idea. Airplane mode, toggle this on and off for if you're on an airplane. Wi-Fi, you're going to be able to see what Wi-Fi networks are in your area and join them. Bluetooth on or off if you want to sync this to a Bluetooth keyboard or a speaker. Do not disturb, we can turn on and off for if we do not want the iPad sending us any notifications, making any noises from specific hours. Notifications, we're going to get some more options within here. I'm just going to go into one of these so you can see it. iMessages is going to send me notifications if someone sends me a message. I can have this on or off. I can have no alerts coming in. I can have a banner just at the very top. Or I can have full blown alerts where the alert pops up on my phone with the message itself. Uh, and you've got some other options as well. Uh, the general settings, you're going to see under about, you've got all the information about the iPad, the space, the capacity, the serial number, a lot of information there. Uh, you can see if you need to do a software update, uh, you're going to see a little alert there that shows that you have an update. Uh, usage, you can set some customization of Surrey, uh, your iTunes wireless syncing, you can add a auto lock so that your iPad will automatically shut its screen off if you've left it on after a specific amount of time. Uh, you can put a passcode on if you want to have this. Uh, when your iPad's on sleep, every time you turn it on, it's going to ask for a passcode, so you got a little bit more security there. You can turn the iPad cover lock or unlock on or off. Uh, so that's if you've got one of the smart covers and you open the cover, it's going to automatically turn the iPad on, and then closing it will turn it off. You can change the switch on the slot side, which is right above the volume control, to be a mute button or a lock rotation. So if you've got your iPad like we have it right here in landscape mode, it won't turn when you when you move it up and down. Uh, you can turn the multitasking gestures on and off and some other options here. Sounds, uh, we're gonna change, we can change all of the sounds from ringtones to Facebook alerts to calendar messages and uh, even the keyboard sounds uh, when we're typing. Brightness and wallpaper, we can adjust our brightness and we can also change the wallpaper of the lock screen and the home screen. Picture frame is something that shows up in the lock screen uh, where we've got the moving pictures and different pictures popping up. Uh, we can change the transitions and we can also change which photo albums these are being pulled from from our Photos app. Privacy, you can add some more privacy to how you're using your iPad. And then we've just got, again, just like everything else here, more options on iCloud, mail, contacts and calendar, notes, reminders, messages, FaceTime, Maps and Safari, just other ways that we're going to use these apps and that are again making the iPad more uh, more you using it uh, how you want to use it so uh, we've got last we've got social media you've got your Twitter and Facebook if you use those social media sites you can add your information there makes it a lot easier to share what you're looking at on the internet or uh, anywhere that you're using the iPad and then last you're gonna see all the different apps that you may have downloaded and some of the other settings that they have within those apps so if you've ever got a question on how to use your iPad for anything and you're not sure, uh, the settings app is a great place to start to check around. So hopefully this video does a good job of getting you ready uh, and using the settings app on the iPad.